We sold the DeLorean. As you can see from the thumbnail, we sold our project car. Build's over, guys. Just kidding. So we're still going to be showcasing the build. We're still going to be showing you guys from start to finish. The only difference is that I don't own this car anymore. Someone else does. And with that comes with some changes. So we wanted to bring you guys up to speed as to what changes are happening with this car, and they're gonna blow you away. So starting with the front of the car, we're gonna be doing a equal A-arm suspension. We're gonna be getting rid of the old suspension, as you can see from previous episodes. We've been working on trying to get the front of this car more dialed, and we, I think we have a really good plan as to how we're gonna do that. We're gonna be doing something really revolutionary, which is a push rod suspension up front to get the suspension, that articulation that it needs, in order to really get up and down as far as the bump and rebound and making everything work really properly. We're also gonna be getting rid of our gas cap location, which is really, really a pain in the butt. If you own a DeLorean, you gotta pop your hood, you gotta take your gas nozzle over your nice interior, fill it up, and then get gas all over your cowl and all over your inside. This does not work for us. So we're gonna be getting rid of that and we're gonna exit out the front fender, just like an old school Porsche. It's gonna be really cool. We're also going to be upgrading the inside of the, the front area. This is all going to be exposed carbon, and we're going to do some really cool carbon work inside to show off our pushrod suspension. Other than that, front end's pretty much going to stay factory. We also have some upgrades we're going to do in the rears. So our prototype that we brought to SEMA last year, 2023, was a 5.3 Gen 4 LS, but that was a truck engine. It was a little bit clapped out, and it wasn't up to speed as to what this customer wants. This is a 5.3 liter crate motor, built by Speedway with a comp cam, high lift cam in it, as well as a trunnion upgrade. It's been completely gone through, brand new engine, good for about 460 horsepower, but we're gonna solve that issue with a set of Garrett G-Series turbos. We're gonna be running Garrett G25 mirror image turbos on this car, dual ball bearing, just like we did on the prototype, except we're gonna be lifting the turbos off the ground this time, and we're gonna put them in the engine bay. We're also gonna be doing full titanium charge piping, exhaust, and we're gonna do some really cool long tube headers that I think are gonna look really spicy in this thing. We're also gonna be doing something really cool that as far as I know is a complete first for a DeLorean. We're going to be running a Porsche PDK gearbox in this car. We're gonna be getting rid of the gated six speed, that's the G96 that's in there right now, and we're gonna be running paddle shift. What paddle shift is, is you have these little flappers behind your steering wheel and you can go through the gears. That way the customer can party if he wants to or with a hit of a button just to be a regular old automatic. Other than that, it's pretty much stock. Now, the creme de la creme is gonna be the interior. Originally from the factory, DeLorean interiors are horrible, just like this plywood bulkhead piece you have right here. They used simple plywood and cardboard basically to build the interiors of these cars. They built this car in under six months from start to finish and that created some, let's just say, setbacks and cut some corners to make this interior the way it was. So this is definitely the Achilles heel of any DeLorean owner. I think it's definitely a derivative of the 80s, and for that reason, we're gonna be doing a completely redesign of this interior. We're not gonna go wild as far as you won't be able to tell it's a DeLorean, but it'll definitely be different. Utilizing 3D printed technology to create a new dash and center console, and we're also gonna be using LCD screens for the heads up display, for the gauges, for engine management, as well as the Apple CarPlay, and um, all the features that you see in a modern car. We're also going to be upgrading this antiquated AC with a Restomod Air AC system. We're going to be utilizing their billet knobs and some of their vents and stuff like that. And we're also going to be doing some really cool seats that we're going to incorporate into the car. We're going to actually make them from scratch. The wiring is going to get completely redone from headlights to taillights. So none of the original relays or any of the problematic Lotus wiring is going to be in the car. It's going to be all brand new from Haltech. And we're also going to be incorporating our PDK controller in the center here with the paddles on the steering wheel. So it's gonna take some engineering to get to uh, figure that one out, so that'll be a fun episode. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna be redoing all that stuff and we're also going to be replacing our roof box and upgrading it to a brand new stainless steel unit. Um, a lot of people don't understand how the doors work in these cars. So we'll be doing an episode soon, breaking down exactly how a gullwing door opens and closes and how we're gonna upgrade it and bring it to the more modern spec. Other than that, this interior is gonna be pretty much completely redone. A big step away from what was originally outlined for this car. So, stay tuned. All right guys, like I said in the beginning of the video, this car is sold to a new client. Before we were building this on our dime, 
and we were going to be taking some liberties here and there, but we were never going to go as crazy as we're going to go now. And you might be watching from home, either you own a business or you want to own a business that's involved in this space. These builds are extremely expensive and a lot of times you have clients that are crazy enough to do it with you. And that's just kind of the business. You have to find people that are like-minded and want to do these things as a journey together. So what we're gonna end up doing with this car is it's gonna be our flagship production model. We're planning on actually bringing this to the market and having a turnkey option for DeLorean enthusiasts and anyone in the rest of mod space that wants to do something really unique and really cool with their car collection. We'll put a link in the description below for mosariautocraft.com. We're gonna have a couple different models that are outlined as well as some merch. So make sure you hit the link in the description below. But also, we hope to bring you guys on this journey and show you guys exactly what it takes to build a car of this caliber. So thanks for watching this episode. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for subscribing. We'll see you next time.